Uh, hello, our dear farmers, wherever you are. This is Mongi, the fruit farmer, and today I just want to bring to you a new video of how to harvest dragon fruit. First of all, thank you for those who have been liking our videos and thank you for all who have subscribed to our channel. Thank you for always uh, supporting us through watching our programs whenever we post anything. And I want to encourage those who have not subscribed to kindly subscribe to my channel and uh, also press the notification button uh, so that we may be able uh, to you may be able to be notified whenever we are posting any new video my name is Mongi the strawberry farmers I am a trainer and a seedling seed, uh, seller I have a lot of seedlings like this one this one of my uh, seed, this one of my nurseries this is where our seedlings our dragon seedlings are are, are kept we have two varieties that is the white variety and the red variety number one concerning white variety it is one of the best dragon variety that you can be able to grow because it has a lot of benefits uh, it helps people who are struggling with diabetes and high blood pressure the red one is good because it is sweet it is rich in vitamin c and so that it can be able to help you fight a lot of chronic diseases so these seedlings we are selling them we are also also training farmers on how to to go about this kind of farming so uh if you have an a land and you don't know what to do i would advise you to just think of growing dragon instead of uh just letting your your land to to, to be uh empty so you can grow your seedlings there you can grow your trees there they normally takes one and a half years to mature and um harvesting is supposed to be done like uh okay it has like two seasons per year there is a major season and the minor season that is a peak season and the off peak season and here we are uh, harvesting dragon because they are fully mature and ripe and uh, we are harvesting them because now we have orders for these fruits uh, we are harvesting and take them to the market currently the prices for dragon uh, per kilo is uh, 600 to 800 shillings per kilo that is a uh, if you are selling this organic type of dragon you know we have people who are growing dragon using chemicals eh? but for us as you can be able to see on the on the base of the plant on the, on the, on the base of the concrete we only have manure we only use manure uh, and if you have anything you want to eliminate maybe uh, some insects we normally use organic means that that is uh, if you have some insects that are affecting your plants so in these dragons as you can be able to see we have already harvested and we are continuing to harvest you will be harvesting these dragons for 50 years and above depending on how you are going to take care of your crops make sure you maintain your crops uh, with good health make sure they are uh, they are uh, they they get all the minerals that they would require make sure that they have water as you can be able to see here we have been using drips drips are one of the best ways of uh, watering yeah so you can use this kind of drippings this is the best way so it is not labor intensive yeah you just uh, uh, place one or two uh, drip line per every row okay 
So, uh, once you have planted dragon, it normally takes one and a half years to mature. Probably one and a half to two years, depending with your area. In hot areas, they normally take from uh, roughly nine months to one and a half years. And uh, cold areas from roughly one and two months to two years. Okay? Yeah, so this uh these fruits are good they are very sweet number one they have a lot of health benefits and number three they are so beautiful when you plant them you can be able you can be able to enjoy the beauty of the plant in the in, in the farm if you see when they are flowering they have nice flowers they attract a lot of bees in your farm so this is one of the best they are not that labor intensive at all at all look at the chamber so you can also plant uh in between you can plant like you can uh, intercrop with uh, maybe beans or anything you can do anything but that is not going to go beyond two feet eh? up you can do veget vegetable you can do onions you can do uh, uh, things like uh, beans or peas whatever you'd want to to do these are drip lines that we are i'm telling you you see they have some small holes which when you when you open the the water it's it's it it behaves as if you're sprinkling some water it 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 is it behaves as if it's a shower okay so it is one of the best drips ever you can be able to put them and uh, uh in the chamber yeah so enjoy watching what we are doing yeah and if you are there you'd want us to help you uh, venture into this kind of farming please we have farmers in kenya we have farmers in tanzania thank you my brothers from tanzania you know yourselves i'm not going to mention your name we have farmers from rwanda thank you our farmers from rwanda you know yourself i'm not going to mention you we have farmers from uh, south sudan thank you our farmers uh, from south sudan we have a lot of farmers in kenya and uganda Anybody who has ever bought anything from Wangi the Strawberry Farm, I just want to take this opportunity to tell you thank you. Thank you so much for believing in us. Thank you for trusting our services and thank you for buying our crops. Uh, thank you always for, um, for believing in our, uh, in our agronomical uh, knowledge. Okay? So this one, as you can be able to see, I'm just counting them. Uh, today we have harvested like uh, 60 kgs in, uh, in this chamber. From After two weeks, we will be harvesting a la another like uh, 60 or 70 or 100. And I told you a kg now ranges uh, from a uh, 600 to 800 shillings per kilo. So if you have like 50 kgs, you'd, you can be able to do the calculations and you know now this is the peak season it will continue for like six months uh, depending on how you're going to feed your crops okay so i was harvesting while putting them down so that i may be able to count once i am i am done and uh there is somebody who told me that some dragons in kenya there is no market for dragon let me tell you my brother and my sister never mind about the market we have people who are doing these dragons even for 10 acres you see the more people are venturing into this kind of farming uh, like mm, some days back we used to buy an avocado an avocado fruit at five shillings but today i went to eat lunch somewhere and i bought an avocado one which was rotten i bought it at 60 shillings so it was not even uh fully ripe uh it it had spoiled uh, some part but i paid 60. the same same avocado we used to, to to sell them at five shillings and we could not be able to get somebody who could be able to buy nowadays people are eating fruits like never before because we came to realize that fruits 
are have a lot of benefits uh, in our bodies. So when we learn to eat fruits, when we uh, uh, learn to be eating fruits each and every day, we normally say you eat one apple, one apple a day, keep the doctors away. Not only an apple, but each and every fruit has health benefits. And I want you to go and Google health benefit of dragon, red dragon, health benefit of uh, dragon juice, health benefit of dragon fruit, white variety. You'll be able to see what it can be able to do in your body. Okay. Yes. So if you have any question, I have my number there with you. 0793-51-86-55. My brother, if you are planning to do this, do it in a large scale way. Because let us assume we have that market. We have a market whereby we need like 100 kgs or 200. Like these ones we are harvesting today, the one who wanted these fruits, he requested for 200 kilos, 200 kilos per day, per, sorry, per week. Yeah? So these ones, we, we found only like 60 kgs. So you see, we, we, we are men with how many? 140 kgs. So people of God, if you can be able to grow these fruits, just do it. Now let me show you how dragon looks like. This is a red dragon. Okay. So you cut like that. It is very light and easy to cut. I am cutting using my sakatia. Remember, no jumps in the shower. Jams are never aware. After cutting, it is good to give thanks before eating. Yes, we thank God because he's the one who made us uh, to be able to come this far. Yes, now I am testing the dragon fruit. Wow. Wow. Very sweet. Very, very sweet. In fact, if you are plant, if you are growing them in hot areas, I want to tell you that your dragons will be more sweeter than people who are going to grow them in cold areas. But that does not mean that the dragon from cold areas are not sweet. They are sweet. But for those who eat dragons from uh, hot areas, they will be more sweeter. Because you see, in hot areas, there is a, there is a lot of uh, potassium and phosphorus. Yes, but in cold areas, mostly we normally find uh, uh, calcium and ammonium. Okay, so it is sweet. I'm looking for, uh, to looking around, looking for another one where I left. I want to go and harvest over there. Yes, these are not ripe. They are not ripe. Yes. Jambo moja ambalo ninafanya tuwe na upendo wa kufanya kilimo biashara ni kwa sababu hata neno la Mungu linasema mkulima anachukua mbegu zake akiondoka kwenda kuzipanda anaondoka na machozi lakini anaporudi anarudi na kelele za furaha I am trying to put some in my pocket they can't fit because they are big you see the joy of a farmer. Look at how a farmer is happy. Wow, I have harvested my dragons. I am now going to the market. What a joy. Yeah? So one kilo from 800 shillings. What a joy. Eh? And this is, uh, this is uh, a perennial crop. You'll be harvesting like this for six or eight months. Wow. It is one of the best fruits you can be able to grow. They are never hard to grow them. They are so easy, so easy to maintain. They, you normally don't spray any chemicals, okay? And if you have some insects that are affecting you, there are organic solutions that we normally use to, uh, to repel those, those insects. Yes. So, 
If you have water and you have a land, make sure you talk to Mwangi the strawberries farmer. Usichanganywe na watu wanasema hakuna soko. Eh? Usichanganywe na watu like this guy, the one who owns this chamber. He has a lot of people who are requesting him to bring dragons to him. You see? They are producing as we are harvesting. They continue producing as we are harvesting. Look at how I am counting some fruits. Some fruit buds. <clears throat> okay. Yes. You will never go wrong if you have a good person who can be able to hold your hand. Yes. You will never go wrong. You can never go wrong in farming because farming is one of the best thing, best things that you can be able to do. Yes, so enjoy watching the rest of the video. I don't have some words to continue talking, but I've given you my number. If you have any challenge, just call my number 0793 5186655. Thank you people who have been ordering the seedlings from us. These seedlings you see here after one and a half years, they will be the same, same height as those who are, those ones which are, are producing. Hizi mnaona zikiwa ndogo, hizi za fiti moja, zingine za fiti moja unusu, zingine za fiti mbili. There is a time coming when you'll be able to say, surely farming is the best thing one can be able to do. Yes, God told us before he left us after creating the world, he told his servant Adam, till the land. Our wealth is in the land. Everything we require is in the soil. God blessed the soil and he said, go till the land and let the land produce fru fruits for you to eat. So, each land, if you have any land, speak to it because God spoke and said that the land would produce uh, fruits for his servant to eat. You belong to God. He was the first farmer. Remember, in the book of Genesis chapter 1, after creating the heaven and earth, he also planted some fruits in Eden, in the garden of Eden, and after Adam, the first man had sinned, he was removed from the chamber so that the angels would come and protect the chambers for themselves. So God was the first farmer. He did farming in a good way. And he normally said, I am the true vine. And my father is the vine dresser that is uh, in the book of John chapter 15 from verses 1.